And good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. The city of Minneapolis is paying up to Jaleel Stallings. Stallings sued the city of Minneapolis and 19 police officers last year, arguing they violated his rights in a violent arrest during the civil unrest after George Floyd's murder. The whole thing caught on surveillance video. Fox 9's Bab Santos has the details of this settlement tonight. So, Babs, tell us what happened. Yes, yeah, Stallings and the city have agreed to a $1.5 million settlement while the city denies any responsibility or liability in the case. Down, if I could go back and tell myself, hey, just stay in the house that night, then I probably would do that. Protester Jaleel Stallings says this close call with Minneapolis police five days after George Floyd's murder has left him cycling through stages of depression. I was extremely upset because I didn't feel like I was wrong in the incident. Now he's telling his story for the first time. Stalling says out in the unrest after George Floyd's murder, an unmarked van suddenly appeared and shot him in the chest with what turned out to be a non-lethal round. At which point I returned uh, fire three shots. Stalling says he didn't know the men he exchanged gunfire with were police officers, and once he realized, he immediately surrendered. But body camera video from that night shows arresting officers continuing to rough him up on the ground. A lot of the bruising was gone within a month. The eye fracture took a little longer. Once out of jail, he was charged with attempted murder, and worries of decades behind bars overtook him. Even worse, because he felt he hadn't done anything wrong. Eventually, a jury would agree. It was an extremely heavy weight lifted on my shoulders. What followed was a civil lawsuit against the city and nearly 20 of its officers, claiming the officers violated his rights during the arrest. On Monday, the city agreed to settle the case for one and a half million dollars, as well as attorney fees. As part of the agreement, they've denied any liability or wrongdoing. I'm extremely satisfied and grateful for that, but I'm disappointed because my purposes in filing the civil lawsuit was never money. I wanted justice and I wanted accountability. Stallings is vowing to continue working towards that, inviting the officers involved to sit down and talk their way through this divide. There needs to be a change in culture and policing. And Stallings says he is also working towards a place where he can one day forgive the officers involved. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Babs.